I want to tell everybody here uh, to rest easy. I am not long-winded, believe it or not. So uh, I will give you some minutes of scripture right now, but before I begin, there are two things I have to say. Uh, one is, uh, she's not here, she's in the, she's, uh, Keith, Brother Keith, if you'd open that door and bring in Jody, one second. Here is a mighty woman. Come on. This is a woman who can move mountains. And, uh, I, I just bless her and I bless uh, the battalion. I love her and, and let me tell you something. I am not the Lord. I'm far from him. I'm, not, I, I'm a terrible creature. But I can roar. I can roar like a lion. And uh, I thank God for that. And I also thank God, Joni, I met another Irishman here. I uh, not another Irishman, uh, Dr. Graham. And I know I'm a Baptist, but we're going to have a touching creature a little bit later. Now, the second thing I want to say is I want to thank the pastor of this church, uh, Pastor Vaughn. What a gracious and, and, and what a gracious. <laughs> But for, for uh, an organized uh, uh, facility like the, the United Methodist Church, most of us are independent Christians. But, and you know, for, for a pastor of a Methodist Church to allow somebody like me at the pulpit. <laughs> like, this, is a, this is a major happening. Uh, but in any case, before lunch, uh, uh, I, I'd like to read to you. Because what I say is insignificant, but what the good book says is of profound significance. I'm going to read to you from uh, the book of Joel. Proclaim this among the nations. Prepare for war. Rouse the warriors. Let all the mighty men draw near and attack. Beat your plowshares into swords. Into swords. And you're pruning it hooks into spears. Let the weakling say, I am strong. Come quickly, all you nations from every side, and assemble. Bring down your warriors, O Lord. Let the nations be roused. Let them advance into the valley of Jehoshaphat. For there I will judge all the nations on every side. Swing the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come trample the grapes, for the wine press is full, and the vats overflow. So great is their wickedness. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision. For the day of the Lord draws near in the valley of decision. The sun and the moon will be darkened and the stars no longer will shine. And then, and then the Lord will roar from Zion and thunder from Jerusalem. The earth and the sky will tremble. But the Lord, the Lord will be a refuge for his people, a stronghold for the people of Israel. Yes. 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 I want to read you something else. You'll hear this from the poet. Do not suppose, do not suppose, Jesus. Do not suppose that I have come to bring peace. I have come not to bring peace, but a sword. sword. Let me hear it again. Sword. Exactly. 
Anyone who loves his father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. Anyone who loves a son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And anyone who does not pick up his cross and follow me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds his life will lose it. And whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. This afternoon, when we gather after lunch, we will find I promise you, I guarantee you this, that's in the name of our precious Lord, we will find life. And we will find means to fight the enemy. And guess what? We will draw the sword.